up, y'all? My name is Jade Fox. <laughs> my name is Jade Fox. This is the Major Lunch Channel. And today, I feel like I have to yell because my car is so loud. It's a basic auto. Today, we're thrifting. We're going to go hit up three different types of thrift stores. We're going to a consignment shop. We're going to a vintage thrift store. And then we're going to hit up a regular degula. I wanted to do like a thrifting vlog today because it's a light lift. But also, because I haven't been thrifting in a minute. So, let's go. My outfit is trash today. And I feel like it's impacting my mood. Let's hope them good, them good deals and them good finds. Can the light find me? Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully we can find some stuff. Something to keep in mind while you're thrifting is the average piece of clothing is only worn two to three as many times as it was 15 years ago. And the average total lifespan of a piece of clothing is 5.4 years. The recycling of 2.62 million tons of clothing per year equates to taking 1.3 million cars off the U.S. streets. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Look at, because this would fit her, she's so tiny. Ooh, it's soft. Well, it's the same design on the pocket. I'm gonna buy this, even though I know it won't fit me. Jacket of waist 31. 48 bucks? 31. So I found this short sleeve button down. It was a nice little relaxed boxy fit like I like. However, I felt like it was just giving very much geek squad on me. Like it was, uh, it was really cool. It's from the 90s. It was only $16, but I just thought the fit looked a little too corporate. And then I found these pants from the 50s, these like army pants that are really like baggy on me, but they look like the way that they fall is really nice. I might get them like hemmed a little bit, but I really like these pants and I ended up buying them. And then I tried on this random suit <laughs> that Jaden wanted me to try on. It was in this pretty like sage green, but it was just way too tight. All my berries and my nicks were caught up. I'm tired of looking like a shadow in this whole video, bro. It's cause I'm wearing this white sweater. The color had to adjust. We're going to Second Street. Second Street is like the little hype beastie, your, where you get your CDG, your Supreme, blah, 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 blah. But they have really cool jackets. Um, they always have like a cornucopia of jackets. They also have really cool jeans in there. So that's where we're gonna go. And Jaden's never been. So, you just flick them all. Oh, I only saw one finger. Ooh. Hello? Littering on this good day. It's chaotic up here. It's so windy as hell over here. It God. is windy. The east side is way too cold for me. Ah! So unfortunately, I lost all the footage of me trying all this stuff on, but Jaden found these golf straight leg pants, this t-shirt I thought was pretty cool, and then I found this like knit blazer, and then this little jacket that kind of gave me Rick vibes. So I just wanted to try it all on just to see how it fit. I didn't love the fit of the knit blazer. There was just something about it. It was too long, and eh, I don't know. There's something about it. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I just did not love the fit of it. And the pants are way too tight. The shirt scratched me. <laughs> and so I didn't end up getting anything from Second Street. All right, y'all. So we went to Second Street. Second Street. And we actually found quite a bit of stuff, but quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. That makes sense. Quite. Quite. Yeah. Quite a, quite a bit. Quite a bit, yeah. It was just things didn't fit. How? How? I wanted to and then Jaden found a dress. It was beautiful. <sighs> she was just a little pricey pricey. I feel like Second Street is great on any day. So if you don't want to worry about hype beast heads coming in, taking all the good stuff, like what are the things that you can get from Second Street that are reliable? They're gonna be there no matter what time you go, but no, no matter what day you go. Outerwear, they have really cool coats. Really cool coats. Um shoes, and I'm gonna say shoes because they don't really carry like 
super coveted shoes or highly coveted shoes, but they carry some cool shoes. And all of them are clean. Yeah, They're all of them like are very clean. Brand new almost. And the last thing I would say is like denim. So if you want like seven jeans, Levi's, Carhartt's, Junior Watanabe, like if you want any of those types of brands in denim or outerwear, it's a good choice. They love them, a Japanese brand there. They do, they do. So right now we're going to the last place, which is Goodwill. So far the vintage spot is the only spot that has a purchase being made. And so we'll see what Goodwill is giving. And then I'll show you the one thing I got, even though you already know what it is. And we'll see what Goodwill is hitting on. Hey yo. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's too close to the gooch. Stop saying that. Please. At least in public. You know exactly what I'm talking about. knows what gooch is. I don't care. It's literally such an ugly word. <laughs> and you just keep saying it like it's nothing. It, it is nothing. And you, yet you say it so loudly. Gooch did a goo gooch. I'm gonna goo -goo. throw this camera on the floor. Y'all, it's looking a little bleak. Yeah. Just a bit. It really just feels like, just go home and give up. Yeah. You know it's like, I, mean? I feel like if you don't find something within the first... Like five minutes. Like five minutes, go home. I feel like it does set the tone. Like you never walk in to a Goodwill and not find anything for the first 10 to 15 minutes and then you find a rack of stuff. Yeah. It's either you come in, you see something, and then you just keep finding things or not. I agree. Also, someone stole that painting from me, so. Look at my mom's shoes. They got me tons of pairs of the same size. These are really soft. Mm. So, we like this mirror. But I don't think we're gonna get it right but it's such a it's only thirty dollars and it's huge it's quite large for reference oh yeah there we go it goes up to jade's elbows so it's pretty big it's just such a cool shape we just don't need it we don't need it but i do want more mirrors i just say like it's so pretty Oh. Walk away. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we are back home and let's talk about how today's day of thrifting went. I feel like on a scale of one to 10, I give, I give the day about a five. A five because I did find something and I still, even if I don't buy anything, it makes me feel good when I find cool stuff, even if I don't buy it. Because then it's like, okay, now I know I need to keep coming back here. Second Street is somewhere that I go, I don't go super often because I feel like their prices are way too high for me to go super often. Um, but when I do go, I'm pleased with the amount that I see there. Um, I feel like the variety is pretty good. The only thing that I don't quite understand is why they accept Forever 21. You know what I mean? I was thinking that too. Like why do you accept Forever 21? Why, you know what? No, I know exactly why. Because I took something there once. I believe I posted a video about it. I think I, last time I thrifted for real, for real, I, I wanna say I vlogged. And if I did, I will link it somewhere. When I went and I brought stuff, they pretty much will take anything that you bring. They're just gonna give you little pennies. They're gonna give you pennies for it. So maybe that's why the selection was a little odd. However, one thing that got me thinking because Jaden found this leather jacket. It was an Aeropostale leather jacket. I don't know if it's the same Aeropostale as the one that we all know. If, if it's giving, you know, the, the petite collar button down Aeropostale. I don't know if it's the same, but if it is, it did get me thinking about like, ooh, vintage fast fashion brands. That intrigues me. Like old Aeropostale stuff from the 80s and 90s, that intrigues me. Abercrombie, but from 80s and 90s, I mean, I don't know if they're out in the 80s, but from the very, very early ages of like some of these fast fashion brands, that kind of interests me because I feel like we all see the old navies, we all see the Eddie Bowers, the LL Beans, uh, what's another, Jones, New York, 
What's another thrift store brand that you see all the time? Any. Just any brand that you are guaranteed to find in a thrift store. Marona. Donna Karen. Donna like Karen. That. DKNY. DKNY, for sure. Uh, Ann Taylor Loft. Ann, that's the one. Ann Taylor. Always. Like an Ann Taylor Loft pant from the 90s. Even Gap. A Gap piece from the 90s is going to hit much more than a Gap piece from 2000s. So I'm kind of interested in that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Goodwill, we didn't spend much time there. I don't. I didn't have much footage for there simply because it's, you know, it's Goodwill. Like I was saying in the store, it's like, if you don't find something within the, fir within the first few minutes, Goodwill is kind of, you get you get kind of discouraged, you know what I mean? Uh, and so that's why there really wasn't much to show in Goodwill. So the pants that I ended up getting, they are like a military pant. And I've noticed that whenever I go in that store and buy a pair of pants, they're almost always men's. Always fit and they're never too long and they're always like correct in the waist. And I'm always wondering, I'm like, why is it that vintage pants fit me so well, specifically from this store and the, the person behind the desk that was giving us the rundown, they basically explained to us that back in the day, a lot of the guys that were enrolled into the military were depression babies. And so they just were malnourished for most of their lives. And that is the reason why they go into the military so that they can actually have access to food. Um, and any like vintage army piece that you find that's bigger is usually from someone that was higher ranking because they had been in the army long enough or longer and could actually like feed themselves and grow into a, like a full person. The more you know, if we're going to be choosing between thrifted, Goodwill thrifted, consignment, and vintage, I wanna say consignment. The thing is, is there is, there's such a thing as vintage designer too. And I think that Second Street does carry some vintage mm -hmm. designer pieces, but I think that's why I'm still gonna choose consignment because I feel like I get the best of both worlds. I can get, you know, my cool, cheap $9 t-shirts that are just basics and fit well and they're soft, but I can also get like a vintage Burberry trench coat yeah. too. But I also thought that why I saw blazer at the store too. I think vintage is great. I think that vintage, when it comes to who is better, it's vintage, yeah, obviously. Yeah, finding a good vintage shop is difficult. And I just find that usually the places that carry more men's stuff, I find more uh, pieces to come home with. So I hope that y'all like this vlog. I wanna do another one. There's a few other spots that I wanna hit. There's this place called Laundry and it is a, um, it's like more of a streetwear thrift store. They carry a lot of t-shirts, like a lot, a lot, a lot of t-shirts. They even have this like big old bin where you can kind of like rummage through it. There is a giant Goodwill downtown Portland uh, that I enjoy. So we're gonna do this again. Um, it's just, it, start, it got dark and it started raining and we had to pee and we were hungry and we wanted coffee and it was a lot going on. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you the B-roll of the pants. And other than that, I'm gonna see y'all very soon in another one. And do not forget, wear what you want. Wear what you like, wear it out, see you soon.